also about a week or so ago I sprayed the uh, this area pretty extensively with uh, uh, the vinegar salt and dish soap mix that I picked up from Matt's backyard or Mark's backyard I forget the Mike's backyard website and uh, just looking at the effect, of course it's also November, so there's already a lot of plants dying, but we ha it's haven't been very cold lately, and we've still had some pretty sunny days, so I don't know how much of this death and decay is from my spraying or from the um, things dying, but as you can see, even the regular ivy, the not poison ivy here is dying, but I see very few traces of poison ivy. It seems, of course, right, right there in the middle, there's some right there. I don't think I sprayed that or got that. That's completely green. But right next to it, you can see what's dying. Uh, but a lot of those, yeah, this, this, this behind there, that yellow plant is the, uh, is some poison ivy there. But it looks like I got that one. And uh, so you see the effect. The effect is almost immediate. Uh, you know, later, like if you start in the morning, you'll see the effect in the day or the next day uh, if you get it good. So I, uh, I don't see a lot of poison ivy left. I'm hoping it's dying from what I sprayed and that it won't come back next year, but I have a feeling that I'll have to take a look next year and see uh, what we've got. But yeah, pretty much every spot that I could see of poison ivy from last the last video, you can uh, you can pretty much tell it's not there's nothing there. So maybe that combined with the colder weather is a good thing. I don't know. Yeah, up there those yellow plants at the top of this ivy cluster here. Uh, they, those are uh, remnants of poison ivy too. I, yeah, we did spray those. So, yeah, there's some more of that yellow. So pretty good. Everything that I see that's poison ivy, other than that one little leaf uh, leaflet, floret, is that what you call it? And a cluster of leaves. Everything else is yellow, which is great. It means I got it. So let's take a look over here. I know there was some. There's some on the side of this pole here. I'll, uh, let's come around and take a look. Let's have a look at our messy garden here. While I do that. Because there was also poison ivy all the way up this utility pole back here. So let's have a look, a closer look here. I had to go around the fence for that. Let's see. There was some down here. Yeah, all this dead and dying plants for poison ivy. That's good. Those thick, hairy roots were poison ivy at one point. But yeah, everything that was poison ivy is withered and dead there. That's great. And uh, I sprayed these. I sprayed here because those roots look poison ivy-like, but I don't know if they're alive or not. And I don't think the poison ivy spread back here too much but yeah next year I uh, I'm gonna see of course what comes out in spring and we'll have a look and see you know what the uh, what, what else comes out focus on that maybe early in the season if I can remember and just to show the effectiveness of that spray all this here was very, very lush and healthy green. Last week, my wife asked me to spray it because, you know, it's all just weeds. And you can see it's pretty much, you know, completely decimated here. I don't think anything's going to grow back here. But we'll see, though. At least what was green is there. But yeah, coming back to this area next year, we'll see. Because my concern is there's a lot of it originating from my neighbor's yard. So I'll have to talk to them and see if they're aware of it and if they want me to do anything about it. Yeah, see, behind the shed, that's kind of concerning to me. Behind the shed, there's still some. So I didn't, I didn't catch that. But now with a lot of the other brush out of the way, I can tell. So yeah, that's going to be my, probably what I have to focus on next year. So... I don't want to get too close to film because some of this might still have some oil on it. That oil persists for a long time, and that's what that your urushol or something. That's the oil that makes you. If you're allergic to poison ivy, that's the that's the allergy. It's to that. 
so yeah next year will be a focus on what's left and trying to get it killed in my neighbor's yard uh, with their permission or you know telling them about it and we'll go from there thanks for watching